welcome back to the Gong Legacy Let's Play series. Reina is currently feeling really famished after her first day in class at her university and she has ordered herself some spinach frittatas from the Foxbury Commons and so she is currently having dinner. She's actually planning to meet up with Xie Ting after class. They wanted to hang out together for a little bit and Xie Ting said that she was going to show her around because this school has a super famous commons and so she is currently on the phone trying to see where Xie Ting is and I think Xie Ting has replied so let us go and find her right now. Alright, we found her. Xie Ting is currently playing darts in the arcade room? In the, in the fun room? Playroom of this build? Well, activities room shall I say. Um, where the students can have fun and she's just throwing some darts at the moment. I think Reina is going to come through the door at any moment. Okay, and there we go. Reina is here. She found Xie Ting right now. <laughs> she's currently saying hi to Xie Ting while asking her about her day. We're going to tell Xie Ting about our first day at school because I think that's what Xie Ting was asking us for and then we'll give her a hug as well. I'm quite happy that we're kind of getting along very well. Let's see how their relationship is going. They're friends at the moment and Reina is obviously <laughs> really not finding Xie Ting too stuck up to hang out around anymore. I guess Xie Ting has managed to, with time, show Reina more about her true self and you know not have first impressions be everything that one person bases, one person's characteristic spy, do you know what I mean? It's getting pretty late. It's almost 9pm and Xie Ting is currently asking Reina if she would be keen to meet her brother because her brother is actually coming over after club activities to sort of meet her and pick her up as well or go home together because he is officially moving into her apartment tonight and maybe the three of us can just all go home together and so Reina is like yeah of course of course I mean we're gonna be neighbors anyways and um, it just makes sense for us to all go home together turns out that Xie Ting's brother has asked for them to meet right in front of the commons since it's super late they just might as well hit home immediately there he goes he's currently walking down the stairs now this is Guo Song. If you watched my speed build on Xue Ting's apartment, or rather their apartment, I actually made a mispronunciation and I called him Guo Song instead of Guo Song. He has a single syllable for his name, but I think that's really cute. He's currently running really late because training went on till really late. I like to imagine that he is in the school's baseball club. No such thing here, but I prefer that to football or soccer or basketball. I really want him to be in a baseball club. We're going to imagine that there is a baseball club in this school and he just was running late from practice. His literal entire life is occupied, or rather he occupies his entire life with baseball practice. So he's going to come here and um, give his sister a big hug now and apologize for being so late. But I'm just going to just give a friendly introduction to Reina right now. I think Song has a negative impression on us. Actually, I'm gonna call him Guo Song because usually when it's like a Chinese name and you have like two syllables, like one syllable for your name and one for your family name, you usually just call them by their entire name, so it's Guo Song. Guo Song thinks that we're pretentious. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame him because Guo Song and Xue Ting both came from a middle classy family, so when he meets someone like Rei, who was born with a silver spoon and is actually pretty rich and he can totally tell that she's wearing like all branded and stuff he would think that of her that's fair that's pretty fair but Reina does think that he is a reasonable sim a reasonable well-balanced sim <laughs> Well, I hope they get along fine. Reina and Xue Ting is actually doing pretty okay. While they have spent so much time together, I'm not sure if Reina finds Xue Ting any less or more annoying. Oh my goodness, we're currently... <laughs> Guys, I think like Xue Ting said quite a couple of awkward things that might have not been so acceptable while they were waiting for her brother to arrive. So she's currently feeling a festering grudge towards Xue Ting and um, she's also feeling a little hurt by Xue Ting. I honestly feel like Xue Ting is feeling really bad about giving off the wrong impression and probably this is what Xue Ting usually struggles with in life. So I 
feel like Xueting's gonna be a little bit like, oh my goodness, what do I do? How am I going to correct this situation? But I think it's too late for everybody to even correct anything right now. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go home now and I'm definitely going to just send Reina to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is the next morning and it's around like 6.30 in the morning. Reina is pretty well rested, all things considered, and she is having some acai bowl for breakfast before it is time for um, her class which starts really really soon actually, hours time actually. So I think I'm going to get Reina to brew some coffee and drink that to get ready for class. She actually didn't do her homework yesterday so I'm not sure how well she's gonna do for school but I think we'll just see as we go. Maybe we'll try to sneak in some homework while we have coffee in the morning. We probably won't be able to get much done but I guess it's better than nothing. Um, yesterday was kind of awkward and weird and um, she currently doesn't really like Xue Ting very much right now. I feel like she's having a tough time trying to understand Xue Ting as a person. As we all know, Xue Ting is just socially awkward and since Reina knows that Xue Ting is socially awkward, I don't really think that Reina really really faults her that much and she just needs a little bit of time to get over the fact that Xue Ting said some really horrible things to her. Like she knows that Shetting probably didn't mean it. So yeah, but Reina is actually going to school now. So we'll actually just meet after she comes back from school actually because there's nothing to do. Thankfully, we only have one class each day. So we'll see you in another one and a half hours. And there we have it. Reina is back from school. She's feeling all right. I think she did pretty well in class. I think we have to come over here and um, harvest our basil and tend to our garden a little bit. I'm not sure if it needs tending, but I actually forgot to tend it yesterday, but it seems like everything's going really fine. So that's great. We're going to get Reina to also do a energy centering yoga. She didn't do it the moment she woke up, but she's actually really okay with it because she knew that her class ended at 9.30. So she could easily just come home and do it after she gets home from school. Of course, I feel like Reina really really wants to inculcate more routine into her life but at this point, with all of these late nights and meeting people and stuff, it's often really hard to just have everything including a routine when we have to, you know, also answer to people and hang out with people, be social, things like that. So, ooh, lifestyle in progress. We have the energetic lifestyle in progress. That is cute. We should also get Reina to do some laundry as well and today maybe I'm thinking we will stay in and have a little bit of a quiet day in just so we can catch up on schoolwork because we've been going out for two nights in a row now and she was thinking that it's probably not the best for her grades because she's not studying enough for this term. Maybe she'll cuddle up with like a movie or something when she has less to do. We will see. I'm not sure what will happen because we do have like neighbors right now even though she doesn't really want to interact with Shieting at this point. So we'll just give it a day off and then we'll try again and hopefully that will enable us to feel better about Shieting over time as well. Um, oh! Oh my god! Why is Song... <laughs> just when I was going to say that we're going to have a quiet day in, Guo Song is here and Guo Song is like, yo, anyone up for getting their exercise on? Because I'm here to pump you up. So how are we going to do this actually? We're going to stop, pause on our homework a little and agree to work out. I wonder what happens when we agree to work out. Didn't Song not like us? But he's feeling okay. Like he's apparently feeling alright enough to want to come and work out with us. But what are we going to do? We have no workout equipment in this house. Yeah, I think they're just like hyping each other up right now. But, well, I guess this is what he means by workout. Um, just working out on the floor, <laughs> doing some sit-ups in my living room. I'm happy that he's trying to take a chance on like getting to know us better. You know what, we're going to set up a little hot pot situation. Wait, is Shirting here too? Huh. I guess we'll just invite our neighbors and we'll have hot pot together. I know that he came over to work out but since there's no workout equipment here, I don't see why not. I hope this means that we can get another shot with talking to Xue Ting and I feel like... <gasps> Guys, do you think like Xue Ting got her brother to come over to be like, can you please help me break the ice by going over and asking Reina if she wants to work out or something so that I can come by later if she feels happy enough to invite me over and um, we can all talk and I can apologize for my behavior? 
Maybe that's what happened. I was just thinking about why it could possibly be that Guo Song will just automatically come over because it's like he doesn't even really know us anyways. But I guess Guo Song doesn't mind knowing us a little bit more because he also understands that first impression is not everything and not all rich people are scums <laughs> as well. So hopefully this means that Guo Song will also learn that we are also quite a nice person as well. We're not stuck up like he would think. Our mom is here! Let's invite our mom in and um, we can also have our mom be a part of the hot pot I guess. Aww, that's so nice! Hi mom! Oh no! Oh no, what is happening right now? Oh no, they're not they're not getting along very well. Rina was scolding Xue Ting. Rina, do you think you can like apologize to Xue Ting or something or is it not your fault? It's probably not your fault. Maybe we'll just tell Xue Ting that it's okay to be a little less awkward and see if that's going to help a little bit because I think Reina is not used to dealing with people who are a little bit less conscious, I guess. <laughs> oh, we gained another um, sentiment, or rather Xue Ting gained one from Reina, but Reina still just finds Xue Ting absolutely abhorrent. <laughs> Because I think it's too soon. I think it's too soon and Xue Ting didn't know the social cues. Reina needed one more day to calm down before talking to Xue Ting again and trying again. Why is mom eating at the... Oh, she just wants to watch some TV? Oh no, that... I got scared for a little bit. I I guess it's fine, mom, if you want to do so. Oh my goodness, I think... I think it's working. So Reina's hurt sentiment about Xue Ting is going down halfway and Xue Ting gained a new sentiment that replaced the one that thought that she'd be fun around. This is a better sentiment as well. Xue Ting feels very accepted around Reina, which is really sweet and nice. But really though, I feel like Xue Ting should um, leave Reina alone for a little bit to have her calm down first before anything happens again. I think everybody is like kind of full too so maybe we'll just keep the leftovers and uh, maybe because it's like 6 p.m already we're going to send Xue Ting home and I feel like Guo Song is about to go home soon so we'll just let him just leave us after he's done with his meal maybe we'll go over to like talk to our mother because our mother's here and we're not really talking to her yet so Reina is currently telling her mother about her first day at school and second day at school and then she's probably like also telling her mother about how Xue Ting had said the wrong things and made her really sad, really hurt and also a little bit angry and her mother's just listening and maybe offering her little bits of advice here and there. She's really not gonna be too controlling about how her daughter is going to navigate life because she knows and understands that this is the first time in her daughter's life, in Reina's life, that she has started interacting with people, not in just her own like kind of like circle, people who have the same kind of like background from her and people who are like-minded as well. So she understands that Rina has to figure this out on her own. So she's just minorly interjecting whenever Lida just to offer a little bit of guidance so that Rina can figure this out on her own. And with that said, I think our mother is going home now because it is 8 p.m. and she's like, okay, I am meeting your dad for supper now. So we're gonna go home and have some dinner. Rina is really feeling really tired from the day's event. So I think she's just going to end the night with just working on homework a little bit more because she does have homework to do before class tomorrow and she wants to do well or like at least better. While she's doing her homework and trying to to focus. I'm pretty sure she's also thinking about how things are going right now with school, not being too busy yet but also like making a new friend with her neighbor or rather trying to because she's always like thought that she would be able to like make friends with anybody but it seems that making like being friends and staying friends with Xue Ting is proving to be a little bit more tricky than she initially thought but I don't think she's the kind of person to be like, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm going to just shun her. She's not raised like that. So she's just trying to process the day and make sure that she mindfully knows how she's behaving as well. And um, with that said, I think she's almost done with her homework. I think she's feeling a lot better too while she's just thinking her way through this. And she's done with her homework. So we're going to get her to wind down for the night. So we'll get her to pee like a champion. She's feeling really confident right now. Um, this is a very suspicious thing to have in the house because they're brothers and sisters but I'm just gonna ignore that uh, who knows what they're doing maybe they're just watching some stuff and it's really loud so I think she might actually go and pound on the door no I can 
Do you think knocking politely is going to help? Apartment leaving is not something she is unfamiliar with. Inconsiderate neighbor is a thing. Um, Shia Ting, what are you doing in a maid's costume? Can we complain about the loud noises? We're really tired, please let us go to sleep. You've been less than stellar recently, Shia Ting. So we will probably be able to go to sleep now. Reina is feeling really, really tired. So we're going to get Reina to go to bed and rest up in preparation for school tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. Oh, Reina has succeeded doing a kind of like a modified handstand. That's pretty cool. But yeah, good morning. It is like 11 a.m. It's a rainy afternoon. She had a good morning. She had a fruit platter for breakfast. She wanted to eat a little bit cleaner because she's been eating quite a lot of junk recently, lots of high sodium and oily foods and she just wanted to feel a bit fresher and healthier so she ate some fruits instead and she continued with her yoga practice before school starts. With school is actually starting in two hours time. She also did a little bit of gardening while she was at it. I'm just going to get her to meditate a little bit before school starts. I mean she's done her homework, she could she likes new age music, yes of course. She definitely needs to work on her schoolwork a little bit more but I honestly feel like she, it will definitely do her well to, you know, just meditate a little bit and perhaps even work on trying to forgive Shia Ting a little if she has the ability to. <laughs> She's currently a little bit too occupied with this friendship drama with Shia Ting to really care about Shia Ting's brother at the moment. She just finds Guo Song a normal, average person I guess, just another guy. So definitely back of her mind at the moment. But it's almost time for school so... Oh, Shia Ting's at the door again. What does she want? Hi neighbor, I'm bored. Want to hang out for a little bit? We can socialize or do whatever your heart desires. We have asked Shia Ting to leave us alone for today, which is something that Reina really needs. Just some space. It doesn't mean that we hate Shia Ting. If anything, we're trying really hard to like Shia Ting. It's time for to go to class now. So so we're going to see you when she gets back. Reina is back from school. I love that she just walks around in her sportswear. If you watched Reina's cast, you will understand. She really needs to get this going because it is already Thursday in the week and she has to get this presentation started. This is literally going to be her plan for a Thursday afternoon and I might actually get her to go out. Maybe she can take herself out in town because she hasn't actually seen around Evergreen Harbour much. She tried to tour a little bit when she was here because she's been here for like about two months, right? Two each months. I imagine she's done a little bit of um, touring around the place but definitely nothing too fancy. So after doing this, we're probably going to drop by the famous bar down in Port promise just to see how it's like she hasn't actually visited port promise yet and she's definitely thinking that after such a stressful couple of days <laughs> with her neighbor it's really nicer to just get off the house a little bit so she's not in and her neighbor won't be able to come in and uh, ask to hang out and stuff because she has a tendency to do that literally every single day <laughs> so she's just gonna go and see if she can relax a little bit maybe see if she can meet some new people around because she needs more friends as well so yeah that's what we're gonna do so i'll see you in a little bit when she stops working. Okay, Reina has gotten her board to the next level. It's looking a lot better than it was before, which is great. So we're going to get her to change into like a outfit that she likes now. Oh wait, oh my god, Kuo-sung is feeling bored and wants to hang out for a little bit. Kuo-sung, why is it your turn now? We just said we wanted time alone. But I guess we're okay with Kuo-sung a little. Maybe we can agree to hang out. So we're telling Kuo-sung that we're planning to go out to this bar at Pop Promise. We're gonna ask him if he wants to come because we actually wanted to go alone but now that he's here and he wants to hang out, we might as well go. She's just telling Guo Song to give her a minute because she's going to get changed. She's just coming into her room right now and doing what she originally intended to do, which is to change her outfit into a party wear. Let's get her to go in this outfit now. So she's going to freshen up a little bit, making sure her makeup is intact and she's looking great and feeling good and confident and she's going to go to the bar and, and it's nice to have a friend along with her. So let's get us to go to the bar. I'll see you guys at the bar. Okie dokie, we are here at the caboose in Pop Promise right now. Guo Song did go back into his own apartment and get dressed for the night. So we're going to get Rina and Guo Song to get in here. Upon going in, they have noticed that there is a ping pong table in this bar and they were like, oh my goodness. So they have decided that who loses this match is going to be the one treating the other to a drink. That's why they are not drinking 
right now and they are going to instead play some ping pong in this place. It seems like Reina is doing pretty good at table tennis. Oh, okay, actually they're evenly matched at this point. So let's see who wins actually. But so far, I think Wallstone is winning. Oh my goodness, Reyna has missed three times so far. I have a really bad feeling that Reyna is going to lose. I mean like Reyna, what do you expect? Wallstone is a athlete. So yeah, obviously Wallstone is the winner. Final score, 3 to 2. So... I guess it's up to Reina to buy a drink for Kuosong now. I feel like if you're at a bar, wouldn't you just want to get a beer? Let's get some IPA maybe? Okay, she's ordering the drink now. So I guess they're just bonding right now over some beer. I wish that Kuosong would sit down, but obviously not happening. Like, this is just steal the sins. Oh, maybe we can start playing beer pong now. Alright, it's time to do some beer pong. I'm actually not sure how this works. I've never played beer pong in my life. Oh, if you get the ball in, the other person drinks? Oh no! Are we going to get Guosong really drunk? Oh, <laughs> he's crying now. Oh my god. Okay, Guosong is definitely losing this and he's definitely drinking a lot now. Oh no. Oh, okay, there we go. Reina has to drink now. <gasps> Reina, you're so good at this. Why are you good at this? Are you just. Are you just lucky? Is Guosong losing this? Uh, let's see. Oh my god! We won this round! Kuo has to drink the entire thing. No, don't don't cry! Don't cry, you're alright! Final score 4 to 1. We're going to share a secret with Kuo and have a little bit of a deep conversation. Like, we feel bad <laughs> making him drink so much. But it's also time for us to go already. It's like almost midnight and we do have school tomorrow. In the morning too. I feel like we just go out way too much. I don't know if they gained any new sentiments. Okay, if anything at this point, Kuo Song is definitely getting better vibes from Reina than his first impression, so that's good. But they haven't actually gained any real sentiments yet, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with. It's been a good night so far, so I'm gonna call it here and I'm gonna go home now. It's been really fun watching Reina live her life as a uni student and I definitely cannot wait to see what happens next week as well. So with that, once again, with Reina in bed, we're going to say goodnight and goodbye to you guys and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Definitely remember to tell me what you think in the comments down below. I always love hearing what you think and replying to your comments as well. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye!